Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Izizbek Rustami and I'm a first semester nursing student at Daytona State College. I know it's been a few weeks since I last uploaded and I apologize for that. I've just been very busy with uh, a couple of exams we have left for this semester um, and just wanted to put all my time into that. Today I have a fourth semester student to go over her experiences throughout all four semesters and to answer a couple questions I came up with. Without any further discussion, let's get right into the video. Thank you. So I'm here with Katie. Uh, she is a fourth semester nursing student graduating, uh, what, next week? Yes. Finishing up? Yes. So the first question is, which semester did you feel was the most difficult and why? So I thought that fourth semester was the hardest. Um, as I was saying before, in fourth, um, you have mental health and you have med surge and it's all combined. So you're learning two sets of material that are going to be on one test. Um, we also have community service hours that we need to do. Um, we need to do precepting. Um, and we have quite a few projects that we had to do. So um, fourth semester was definitely by far the hardest semester ever. Yeah, just a lot of things is packed into that. Yeah, and then yeah. having time to study. Yeah, it is a lot. Um, what did you have to give up later in your journey to make nursing school a priority? So I had to give up getting married, um, having a baby. Um, Kind of had to put that on the back burner um, until nursing school was over, um, which was unfortunate because I've been engaged now for almost five years. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, doing all that, that was a lot. So that means then you're going to get married soon? Yeah, so um, <laughs> due to get married in October of next year. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, what was your point of view on caring for individuals before nursing school and did you have a change? Um, not really. I, didn't ha I really didn't have a change. So I've been a tech for 12 years now. Um, and my whole thing with getting into healthcare was that, um, I'm trying to think, that I sometimes I felt like that there was people that worked in healthcare that probably shouldn't work in healthcare. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say on that. So I wanted to be the person that goes into your room and like you have a positive experience and that was yeah. my whole thing going into nursing school and that hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, and how well were you able to hold yourself together mentally, emotionally, and physically when it came to difficult times such as exams or long hours in the clinical? Um, definitely having a good group of friends. I became very, very close with the people that I was in school with, and I'm still friends with them now. Um, even though, even the ones that um, moved on after I had left in third semester, still really close with them. That helps a lot. Um, didn't really have too many mental breakdowns. I think I didn't have like an official like crying fest until I got to this fourth semester because yeah. it just was killer. Oh, well, now you're almost done, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which field uh, in the nurse in nursing do you want to be in and why? Um, I want to do NICU mm -hmm. or um, just babies in general or pediatrics. Um, like I said, I've been a tech for 12 mm -hmm. years and I've done adult health and I really want to move on away from that and do... Um, babies and stuff like yeah. that and that's where I did my precepting was the NICU okay and do you have any other plans for pursuing more education or careers after becoming an RN um, I'm gonna get my bachelor's degree and then I thought about either doing nurse practitioner or now I'm leaning more towards um, nurse nurse anesthetist yeah yeah that's the same with me <laughs> is there anything you'd like to tell them in regards to studying or you know picking out the right friends for nursing school um so as far as friends definitely people that are gonna like motivate you that aren't gonna hold you back that are pushing themselves um, because if you're pushing yourself you want to be around people that are also pushing themselves that um, 
are going to study with you and help you and be there for you when you have questions. As far as studying goes, um, always find out first how you study. I didn't realize how to study until I got to nursing school. I think I had poor study habits during my prerequisites, um, but I really learned how to study um, in nursing school. And for example, I'm the type of person when I study, I have to be moving around when I study. So I will have all my notes, I'll hold them in my hand and I'll like walk around my house reading my notes out loud. And um, teaching, I found teaching really helps. So uh, when my fiance is not home, I have dogs and they'll be following me around and I'm talking to them and telling them all about nursing school and stuff like that. So it really helps just hearing yourself um, and you're going over things. But figure out how you study. That works for me, but some people can sit and read a book. So yeah. Really find out how you how you study. It makes such a difference. Absolutely. Well, thank you for taking the time out of your day <laughs> for doing welcome. this and no sharing problem. your experiences. Good luck with your final and good luck with your NPLEX. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. And as I always say, like, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and drop a comment suggesting any tips or advice or any questions you'd like to give to me. My next video, which I plan to drop next week um, or the following week, will be pretty much a wrap-up of the first semester, and I'll share my experiences and how it went. Again, thank you guys so much for watching.